Oh, hi, puppies. Hey, man. What's up? Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. How you doing today? Yo! -ho -ho. What up, guys? And welcome back to another one. As you can tell, my voice is just gone. Having some voice troubles here, y'all. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I sound like junk. But I wanted to redo the intro of this video, y'all, because I have something to show y'all. Because a lot of you are always asking Bobby, what type of magnets do you use? What do you prefer to use? What are the best magnets? Basically, why do you run the magnets that you do? And again, guys, I am sorry, my voice is gone. Well, to be honest, I've always only ran one brand of magnet, which is Wukong. To be honest, guys, I've always only ran this brand of magnet, Wukong. Now, Wukong has uh, just been part of the channel for a while now with the magnet fishing videos. Uh, I remember some of my first videos, they actually reached out and were like, Bobby, can we send you some free magnets? And now today, they have really stocked me up. Check it out. They sent ropes. They sent me like two different ropes, uh, just ready to go. And check out the new magnets. Check out this little double-sided jigamer rig here. Oh boy. I think that is a 500 pound double-sided. And check out this one here. This is another style of double-sided magnet. You can either hook it to the side there, so it'll be a full double side, or it can be a regular vertical style magnet. And then we got my baby that I use all the time. This bad boy right here. Oh yeah. This is my 1100 pound pull magnet. And what do we have on there? Oh yeah, we got some leftovers from the last video. This is my go-to magnet, but they sent me something bigger than this one. Oh, oh, big daddy right there. This is a 1700 pound pull Wukong magnet. Check that beauty out. I haven't got to use this one yet, but you guys have to come back for the next video where I'm going to be using this big old bad boy right here. <laughs> Sorry, I want to get a lot more excited than this, but my voice is just shredded. Ugh. But honestly, guys, big shout out to Wukong Magnets. Without them, these magnet fishing videos would not be here. They wouldn't be as good as they are because the magnets they send me are phenomenal. If you're wanting to pick up a Wukong Magnet, I will link all of the magnets that I just showed down in the description below. Go check them out. They're some of the best quality magnets that you can find, and especially for the price. And they make literally some of the strongest magnets on the planet. So, but enough rambling, let's go chuck some magnets. Your gloves nasty? Oh, they're nasty. They're real they're nasty. They're wet, they've been in the back of the truck and it rained a little bit. Poor dad left his gloves in his magnet fishing bucket in the you back of his truck. You can even see the rust. Oh! Today, you guys might recognize the spot. We've been here probably once or twice in the past. Last time I was here, my buddy Austin actually found a phone. So, why we came back to this place, it's a very, very, very active place. A lot of people here a lot of the time. Right up yonder up here, we have a water park. And no, it's not summer, and no, they're not using the water park right now. But I haven't been here since probably mid-summer last year. So, this has not been checked in a while. Unless somebody decided to pick up magnet fishing in my hometown and beat me to it. We found a coin here too last year from a foreign land. Yeah, where was that from? It was from New Zealand. New Zealand. It was yeah. a New Zealand 10 cent. So, New Zealand money, that's what we found in here at one point. So, a lot of different stuff can be found here. We found a lot of junk and a lot of really interesting finds. I mean, really, really weird. Dad's been getting at it. Here we go. Not very deep. And right here, it's actually pretty, pretty silty, nasty, dirty bottom. And the farther you go, the quicker it cleans up and becomes a concrete bottom. That's why over yonder, underneath the second bridge, I think that's why it's so good, is because it's got that nice, clean, concrete bottom. So I always like to go up against the side here. A lot of stuff will wash up right against the side. Well, what do we got? Got an old, old beer cap of some sort. Old beer cap.
I felt like something latched on there. Nope. So I am using the 1100 uh, pound pole magnet here. And uh, I'll tell you one thing is sometimes it'll get like this. So every time I pull it up out of the water when I check it, I always make sure that rope is straight up and down like so, so I can bob it up and down and it's making good contact. Dad's just sending it down there. Throw her out there, daddy. Well, we're getting underneath this walkway here, this walking bridge. And right here you think <clears throat> might have the potential to have something, people throwing stuff off the bridge as they walk over. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to find something decent. We haven't found anything and this is how far we've went. Well, I'm about done with the bridge here. Give her a couple more launches. What'd you get? Just a little tiny piece of pipe. Oh really? Rocks are magnetic. Jeez, you got a lot of stuff on yours. Wow. A pipe. What is that? A piece of yeah, a piece of pipe of some sort. A lot of metallic Wi rock. Yeah. Wire. Yep. Huh. Look at you can tell that's metal. Yep. Huh. Well, Dad's finding the jackpot for little little things. Another piece of wire of some sort. A spring of some sort. Another piece of wire. What's all this little wire stuff? What would all this little... I mean, he's just finding tons of these little wires. What would that be? Muddy bottom? Yeah. Well, I think this might be that... This is kind of a wishing well deal up on this little rock deal up there. This isn't the wishing well, but it's up there. And maybe just people are up standing there and chuck stuff down here. I don't know. But we're going to uh, give her old Cinderoni see what we can find in here oh geez I got something yep, yep. look at that a strap yeah, I've been throwing in over here for <laughs> a big old nail that's a big old nail and I don't know what that is. It's like part of a cotter key or something. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's old. Huh. Got me a strap though. Best yeah. find of the day so far. You know what we do? We're not only just catching stuff for video, but we clean stuff up. Look at all that. Gee, my name Christmas. Yeah, I think this might be a good little spot for a minute. You get close to the bridge down here. Yeah, like I said earlier, like Dad just said, the, the closer you get to that bridge over there, the better it's going to get, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Sound like a used car or a used car salesman. Or a cook. I guarantee it. Yeah, is that what that is? Yeah. I either move something or. A lot of oh, yeah, that that's a lot of mud right here. I was like, I either got something or, yeah, that's bad. Look at all that metal. Holy smokes. Oh, I remember this, the last video. This is, I mean, this needs to be cleaned out. I mean, this is horrible. Look at that. I mean, look at the trail I just left dragging it to me. I sent it out by that boat ramp and drug it to me and uh, we're gonna have to move down by the bridge where it's a concrete bottom because this is just not gonna work what's that a piece of metal of some sort so yeah look at that that's beautiful Ugh, this is nasty down here nasty. real nasty look at that that was all on the bottom well here we are this is the bridge that I was talking about not only do you, there's a big sidewalk right above, and that is a lot of downtown foot traffic, as well as the traffic actually goes over right here. There's a lot, a lot of people that hang out underneath here. This, look, see all the graffiti that's usually on here? They just painted over it. But I have found a lot of different stuff 
in here. This place always produces something. Look at that. Big nut. That is a big old nut. Oh man, it's Wow. Big that's nut. a big and good find. That and the straps the best of the day so far. We're not doing really, really well here. I always like coming back underneath this bridge because there's just so much traffic under here. On one of my old videos, I explained this is where we used to skateboard a lot and we'd lose our skateboards in here. I know a couple of my buddies did. I think I almost did one time, but I found lawn chairs in here. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Look at that. It's just staying right there. Ping pong ball. <laughs> Buckets. Give her a good checking. Oh, what do we got here? Mm, another piece of pipe of some sort. And can't tell. That stuff's been in there a long time. Not dad, another nut. You're just a nutcase today. I'm a nut. Hey, you're a nut. A nut catches nuts. <laughs> the nut that catches nuts. That's that's probably a true statement right there. Huh. Well, first hook that I found all day. Itty bitty little treble hook. Check that bad boy out. So, new tactic. What I'm doing is I'm holding this rope way out there, trying to get it to the center of that canal as much as possible trying not to fall in walking backwards just trying to uh, scan a different portion of this canal here mm, something just latched on right there what is that oh dad i got something good i don't know what that is look at that some baskets Huh, wonder what those are for. Some baskets, I'll be darned. There's one, two, three, four, five baskets. Huh. Well, that is by far the best find of the day. Uh, I don't know if, um, I'm, I'm thinking they might be for the uh, flower pots up there, but we'll hold on to them. And I'd like to return them if they are. That's that's my theory here. If they do belong to the flower pot or the city, they need to be returned, right? Well, she produced, but she didn't produce as good as I wanted. I was really hoping for some just epic finds. Uh, the baskets, the baskets are pretty neat. I mean, I would love to get them back. I don't know how to get them back. I, I don't know if they are owned by the city. I don't know if they're part of those flower pots I'm not sure uh, but I think we're gonna try to find out I don't know we'll hang on to them and you know where those things belong drop a comment down below and let me know otherwise all of you that are here that are enjoying this magnet fishing video that enjoy all my magnet fishing videos big salute to you please drop us a big old thumbs up because yet again we're out here we're grinding and you're never gonna catch anything or find anything unless you try, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, pack up, we're gonna go grab a bite to eat for lunch, and then we got a special place to go to next. Dad, that your flavor there? Look at all the trash right here. Goodness, I don't know how many of these bottles are in there. There's one, two, jeez. This is crazy. I don't know how safe this is. Uh, look at this. Goodness. I'm telling you guys, let's keep it clean. Well, here we are. Water's a little high. This is the next dock. I've been here a couple times, but it's, but like I said earlier, it's been a long time. All these places that me and dad are going to, we haven't been to for about a year. And this is really one of the most concentrated. Oh, you already got, <laughs> oh boy. Look what dad already caught. So last year we were here and we did a video and this is copper clad, right? Yep. Copper clad. It's funny, he just found this 
but we came here and we found literally a whole bucket full of this stuff didn't we yep yep somebody thought it was real copper melted the insulation off of it and was gonna sell it yep someone thought it was copper and found out it wasn't and ditched it here we go this is probably the most decrepit dock in the nation <laughs> i think it's it gets more unsafe every single year i feel something right here for sure what is going on here something there or not yep oh look more of that junk <laughs> more of that copper clad that someone threw in there what do we got? We got a bolt, one bolt, two bolts, and a spring. Check that out. Well, we're finding stuff. That's good. Oh, man, there's something right here, and I, just, I can't get it up. Let's see if there's anything on there. Oh, look at that. Got the old Bud Light Lime. Who's been out there chugging the old Bud Light Lime, huh? Uh oh, what'd you get? A fishy. Look at that. That was a fishy. That's one heck of a big old lure. That looks like it was a lizard at one. Yeah, that's definitely a lizard lure. Someone uh, using the old lizard oh, out been here. been in there for a while. Yeah, that's a nasty old guy right there. Hmm. What you got there? No yep. name, just stars with red. Stars with red. That looks like a Budweiser that looks top. Like I bet you that's a Budweiser top, like during the 4th of July. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just went down that whole side a couple times. Now I'm on this side. I'll go back and forth at different distances. So when I start out, I'll start out real close to the dock, and then I'll move out, and then I'll move out, kind of just going long lines. That's the way I tend to find the most stuff. Maybe not the best, but the most literally all about covering as much area as possible with a single magnet it's hard whoa whoa there's something heavy here i'm latching onto and lifting up i don't know what that might be in the mud might have to work it out i'll be darn yeah there's something there that let me lift it up a little bit and it's heavy Come on, come back. Get on there now. There's definitely something right there. Well, back at the house here, and uh, yeah, I forgot to do an outro for this video, so we gotta do it now. These bad boys right here, I still haven't went and traded these in at Cadoba. That is what these bad boys are. I brought them home, and my wife was like, no, 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 Bobby, those are the to-go baskets, you know, like, when you get your order to go at Cadoba, those are the baskets that they send your food in. And I'm like, no way. And she was like, you know, actually, <clears throat> you can take those bad boys in and you can trade them for a free meal. And I'm like, no way. And she's like, oh yeah. So maybe on the next video, you guys have to come back for it. We'll probably start the video off trying to trade these rusty bad boys in for a free meal. But guys, my apologies for my voice. It's completely horrible. I've been sick for days. But I hope you guys like today's video. Again, big shout out to Wukong Magnets for sending me awesome magnet fishing gear that I will always use. And it comes in so handy. I'm telling you, it is the best gear on the market. I'm serious. It's Look at these magnets. See how they're engraved? I mean, they are nice. So again, if you want to pick up any of the magnets that I showed, any of the magnets that I use, I will link them all down in the description below. If you guys like this video, you've got to hit that thumbs up button for your boy. And make sure y'all subscribe because we're bringing at least one magnet fishing video to y'all every single week. Thank y'all for being here. I'm going to let my voice rest. I mean, it's just horrible, y'all. Have a good one, y'all.